Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patea, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information and advice. Now, welcome back to part two. Nick, how you doing, my man? Good, Trevor. Thank you, you very much for having me. much since I last saw you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there's not a great deal oh, no. to do here, is there? You <laughs> know, really. I've, I've been down the beach. Um, <laughs> I've walked down Soy 7, Soy 8. Oh, I'll tell you where I went to. You know, I don't know what Soy it is, but um, there's, a, there's a boutique hotel. It's like comes from Beach Road to Second Road, and there used to be in the middle like these little tents and you oh, know, right. um, like uh, stores where you could buy tit tat. Oh yeah, it was full of homeless. It was just yeah. it looks terrible. It looks. Um, but you're going to um, do a video on that soon, aren't you? Yes, oh. yeah. I'm, I'm actually halfway through making the video now um, about the, the the homeless problem. It's a very taboo subject in yeah. Thailand. Yeah, you, you know because it, it's it's like a face issue in Thailand. Yeah. So obviously you can't show. Um, faces of homeless people cool. but the problem has got worse for the last two yeah. weeks it's, it's gone really bad well we'll um, talk about that because i know you are covering that it's a really good subject and you know have a, have a watch of this video because it'll be really interesting and it'll be an eye-opening for you especially if you're not realizing what's going on but before we talk about your youtube channel now in part one <coughs> excuse me part one john uh, john who's john we've been talking about john you see he's got he's got me got john on the brain john if you're watching how you doing <laughs> um but in part one, we spoke about where you came out here for a, a holiday for the yeah. for the wedding, ended up rolling on the floor with the yeah. with the with the groom. Um, then you came out and done your diving instructor. Then you met Brian, 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 yeah. and, and that party. changed your life, didn't it, meeting Brian? Um, yes, yeah, yeah. In a way, um, he, you know, he gave me something to do here. Um, you've got to if you're going to live here like yourself, you know, you. you it, for me, if I was like, say, 65 years old or 60 years old, or even 40 years old, or coming here to retire, yeah. I would have to have something to do. Yes, definitely. Because you, you, it's one of them places where you, you'll get sucked into. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, it's yeah. easily get sucked into the system here. Yeah. So you need to be active in some way, yeah. some kind of hobby. Well, you've got a hobby. You've got two bars. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. that's not a hobby, is it? It's not a hobby anymore. No, 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 it's I not mean, as a hobby. So talk me through, where was your first bar? Uh, the first bar was here, Hacienda. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. The, how it came about, we, you know, I finally succumbed to, to Brian. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we, he said, look, at, there's, a, there's a place on Cyber Cow um, that is nice. And, uh, you know, and, and he basically gave me the cost of it. And I was like, well, that sounds good. So I went and had a look and it was like, wow, this place yeah. is amazing. Yeah. And it was the old Pook bar. Oh wow! Which yeah. is next door to Prime Burger. Yes, it's, I think it's yeah. a Norwegian place now. Yeah, because what was Prime Burger before? It was uh, the uh, an English uh, name uh, bar, wasn't it? Um, the the, the oh, we'll that. have to think about that one. <laughs> Martin, put that on Martin's quiz. Martin, my brain's about to Martin's quiz. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what was it called. Yeah, oh, it was you green, stumped, you it's stumped it's me on that one. one Somebody's going to say it. It's a green green front. Um, yeah, it was just like an old English style pub. Oh, anyway, yeah, go on, Poop Plaza. Let's go to Poop Plaza next door. And I went to. I think it had got. 17 rooms or 27 rooms I can't remember we had a look at all these rooms and we were like wow this is wow, amazing yeah. because this would have been perfect where you, you you make a kind of community where people can actually come and stay as well yeah. in the building yeah and part and in this building it got like a glass section off which was like air conditioned area like a nightclub okay so I thought this is just perfect yeah we worked on it for two months me and myself my ex-partner Jim who basically I bought out um in December 2019 and he went back to the UK he'd, okay. had, he'd had enough of Thailand um, so he got out at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky bugger. Um, and uh, we waited on it for two months. And at the end of it, we, we thought it was going to cost like a couple of million baht because mm. that, we only wanted to invest a million baht each. Yeah. Um, and which was like what twenty five thousand pound each. And when we got the this, we got the contracts through like these big thick contracts, we looked at what's this here? Twelve million. We're like what? Whoa. So there, there, there'd been a communication. <laughs> break down somewhere. Only a little bit. Yeah, well, <laughs> massive one. So we were, we were gutted because we worked on it for two months. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of stress getting everything um, ready and that. Because uh, there's a lot more in, to it than yeah. you know. And we were building yeah. business plans and all sorts. And um, that was it then. It was over and we were like, damn. And then somebody, somebody sent me a picture and said, have you seen this bar on Soy Chai Poom? Um, and I looked at the pictures and I'm like, wow, I'll go and have a look at that. And we, we came and had a look and we were like, we fell in love with it. But we had to put things in like, you know, Chaipu's a little bit out of the way. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it is or was at the time an up and coming, so you want for the future. Yeah. So I looked at it and was like, well, okay, the investment is small, um, you know, or a small amount to lose, should we say, mm -hmm. than, than two, million, two million and 12 million. Cool, yeah, yeah. Um, and then that was it then. We just um, obviously put our own stamp on it. It was start white building, uh, but it was chaos. You know, it was, it was chaos trying to 
get everything prepared. It's a brand new building. I think I mentioned in the last one, the new licenses. Um, even though everything is done perfectly, there's still a lot of problems with the building we had to get fixed. New, okay. new water tanks, you know, just things like that, um, that do add up um, cost-wise. And then when we opened, um, it was a, a horrendous opening night. It was packed, but everything went wrong. Every, <laughs> absolutely everything went wrong. Um, the tables, for example, all these tables we, we had built during, in the week. We, we'd ordered the tables a, a month before. And when the tables came, um, about a week before we were opening, there was like nails sticking up through the table. And they, well, what are these? They weren't even level. You know, the beer was like, you know, you could on a slant <laughs> like this. Oh, we can't do these. It's like, we're open. We've advertised we're open in a week. So we got some Thai guy in and he come and build us these. He said he could do it in, t in the time frame because that was the main thing. We said, okay, we don't mind paying a bit more. We just need them. Yeah. He did it within the time frame, but he delivered them at 8 p.m. at night. The bar was already packed. <laughs> there was no seating. We got, we got chairs, but there was no... But it, was, it might have been a good thing in the end because there was more well, it's people... A talking point. People could get in the bar. Yeah, it's a talking point. Oh, yeah, I'm just going around apologising to everybody. I sat there like, and, like my beer sliding down the <laughs> table because it was on an angle, and then this guy walks in and says, oh, by the way, I have this one. I mean, when you went back into the, in, into the bar the, the next day and, you know, you've had this opening night, did you look around and go... What are we doing? Or was you thinking, do you know what? This is good fun. Uh, um, actually, I just thought, what are we doing, to be honest with <laughs> you at first? Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. That, um, I, I just thought, oh, this has got to be the biggest mistake I've ever made. <laughs> uh, but it's worked out well. I, I mean, it, also another story. Um, I didn't mention it in the last one. I worked in the music industry for, for, for about 12 to 14 years. Yeah. And I was kind of involved with the Hacienda, the, the original Hacienda. I didn't go that much, actually. I only went, um, a f I went a few times. But I, I ran a club in Manchester called um, Sankey Soap, which technically, in a way, kind of put the final nail in the coffin of the, the Hacienda because we became sort of bigger. Okay. Um, so what it was, I was here on holiday I was, and uh, with, a, with a friend, Ian, from back home, and we, we'd gone back to England. We are in the local pub, and we're sitting there as miserable as hell, as you do when you come back from yeah. Thailand. Yeah. You know, you all know the story, yeah. guys. And um, I said, mate, we, we should... I was only actually joking at the time. I said, we should open a bar in Thailand. And he looked at me and he said, well, what shall we call it? And I went, well, it's got to be somewhat about our, our time. And I looked at um, the theme bars here in Pattaya, um, like, like Scooter Bar, and, and they mm. kind of work, you know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. always like theme yeah. bars. They, they, they're always the sports bars now. They always kind of work. So he said to, I said, he said, what are you going to call it? I said, Hacienda, our, our generation. And he looked at me and went, you'd have to spell it with an A double S. <laughs> and I went, mate, you're, you're a genius. That's brilliant. But nothing obviously happened for, for, for two years. And then when it comes to the name, that was the name I used. And it, the idea was to, 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 to recreate um, the old kind of rave scene, or, yeah. you know, the, the club scene back in the day. And you've got another bar, though, you're on Soy 7? Yeah, which is um, A7 DJ bar. It used to be um, Anna Jet, then PJ DJ bar. So it's quite a established, or it was already established right. bar. Um, and anybody that had been there before, it was a great bar. Uh, but obviously when we took that on, um, I had to, um, basically what I did is I took an investor on. Okay. And the investor um, gave me enough money to start that bar and also buy my ex-partner out. Right. So that was good for me. Silent investor, really nice guy, um, doesn't live in the country, but you know, speak to him now and again, lets me get on with it, you know, which mm. is. You know, I mean, you say about Soy 7, I mean, I guess like, you know, people watching the channel now, myself included, you know, Soy 7, Soy 8, there is that cloud over of, of yeah. gloom and doom saying it's going to be bulldozed, it's yeah. going to be, you know, that's it, it's done and dusted. What do you think? What do you um, think? I, I, I'm not just saying this, people are going to say because, oh yeah, because I've got a bar there. Um, but to me, it, it will come back and it will come back better. And that's what I think the, the whole of um, Pattaya is going to do. It's, it's, Pattaya needs to change. There needs to be, uh, we've got it now. There needs to be a kind of, some kind of reset. Yeah. And it's happening already. I'm seeing what they're doing, um, the way they're renovating new bars and that here. It's going a little bit more upmarket. I mean, some people might not like this, but I think there'll be less tourists in the future. So there'll be probably people with kind of more money and things. So um, I think it's, it, it's going to happen. And Soy7, I was there two days ago. And the, yeah, it, it looks terrible. But the top half where you've got two hotels, you've got the new Blackwoods Hotel. Yes. This is exactly, this is next door to, to A7. Um, the bottom half, they've started to renovate them bars. So they must know some is okay. going to go on. Now, well, you, you've got to think about Soy 7, Soy 8. They are Soy's that have been famous for three decades, 30 years. So they've got this reputation. They're not some Soy that's come up and failed. Mm. Like, uh, 
sort of uh, action street didn't really work kind of thing yeah drinking street didn't drinking really street, re yeah yeah but these toys have been there for ages so yeah. we do it a little bit different i think it will go a little bit more up market um down soy seven soy eight I, that's what i think will happen mm, that's a brave challenge there because yeah, i've yeah. always said i i personally and, and i'm going to disagree not disagree but mm. my my i think there's just too much empty space there now to refill it. Oh, it's going to take a lot, but what's going to have to what will happen is the top end of Soy Seven will probably go first. Okay. Shooters is going to reopen, um, will reopen. Um, uh, the Rolling Live will reopen. So you're going to have like probably five bars at the top end. Yeah. And then you've got the two hotels. The, like I say, the bottom end. It, I, I went down there and they're, they're starting to renovate. There's probably about six bars left that are not right. um, that need doing now. So, so there's an active lot. There's a lot of things going on down there. Even at the very bottom, you can you walk down there. There's drills going off everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so there is things going on. Oh well, there you go, guys. See, so you heard it from Nick. There is going to yeah. be a revival of Soy Seven and Soy Eight. So uh, I'm pretty confident there will be. Well, yeah. I hope. I hope so. I mean, you know, Soy Seven and Soy Eight was always great fun. You know. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I mean. It can rely on the past. It's past. You know, its past was was already. Um, it's already got the reputation as yeah. a good soy. I love Songkran. Oh, oh, Songkran in soy seven. This is eight. another thing you see. Um, it is Mental. probably the best soy for Songkran. Oh, it's without awesome. Doubt. It is awesome. soy Songkran. I will say though, soy eight doesn't look good. Yeah, right. um, okay. I mean, what, I walked up there two days ago and I can't see no building work going on apart from at the very top, there's like an hotel, which I think they've refurbished and that looks good. Right. But right. it looks terrible on soy. And also there's a lot of homeless hanging about in, in soy, mm. soy eight. So two bars, NDTVI. I mean, <laughs> so if you're not sure what I'm referring to, that's Nick's channel, and I'm guessing ND Nick Dean. Yes. TV. Yeah. Internet. Okay. Nick no. Dean, no. TV, it was, okay. The, the original idea behind the channel, the, the I was stood for I Tech because I was when I originally started the channel. Okay, I've just just signed up to YouTube, but then a few years later, because uh, I think I've had my channel for about 12 years, but never post anything. Then I, I wanted to do cryptocurrency because I was big into cryptocurrency was about, about wow. five or six years ago. Oh, I no. wish I'd have kept it all now. Oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm shaking my head now, right? Because I've got quite a few people on the channel that are into crypto. And whenever they start talking about it, I say, no, don't talk about that. Mm -hmm. Get off. Don't it's, an, it's a subject. I can talk about it all night, but I don't bring this subject up because I know a lot of people get, yeah. get bored with it. But it, 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 that's, that's why I was started the channel. And I was, maybe things would have been different if I'd have carried, carried that on. Yeah, wow. So 12 years. I mean, people watch this channel and they think, oh yeah, you get a YouTube channel, it's easy. You get loads of followers, you get loads of subscribers, etc. You can then earn lots of money, etc. I mean, how realistic is that? Yeah, that's completely false. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. totally false. Um, yeah. you, you don't, there is some YouTubers that do, um, do make good money out of it, but um, I think it depends on where you're from. If you've got a huge American audience, you, you know, that's, that's when you, you'll make more money. Mm. But no, 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 you could not. Um, I could not survive on my YouTube money out here. In fact, I use I use my YouTube money for for, for my health um, insurance. Oh, okay. okay, you know that's what I'm using it for. I mean, last year in the when we had the first lockdown, I'm getting eighty thousand views per video. I'm, I'm I'll, I'll be honest now, I was like three hundred dollars a month. You know, I've having yeah. I mean, four hundred thousand views a month, having three hundred dollars. It's this yeah. this is less than a pound a dollar an hour and work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you're editing and you're making the videos. And it's hard work. It's very hard work. It's hard work. I mean, in terms of the channel, I mean, where do you see the direction of your channel moving forward? Because I know you like traveling as well, don't I you? I like traveling and um, obviously at the moment, that's, we can't do that at the moment. But I do plan to, to go out. I do plan to do more South Asia. And also, um, I'd like to do India. I'd yeah, like, I'd nice. love doing India, Indian nice. tour. Even maybe even, even um, South America. This was the plan, you know, when the, 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 we've got the one bar going well and then the other bar started off well. And I'm thinking, you know, in, in about a year's yeah. time, I'm going to be able to kind of, because obviously you've got people working for you, let them do it all. Um, you just see it, oversee it, and then I'll get the time to do what I want to do. You know, this is the plan, then obviously this situation um, comes about, so. Yeah, it's I'll tough, isn't it? I mean, in terms of the channel, I mean, will you take your channel, like if you do go traveling around India and stuff, will you take the NDTV or will you start yeah. a new channel? No, 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 I'll take, I'll take the NDTV. Well, yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah. So in terms of YouTube, I mean, you know, I've, I've, I know you've been around a lot longer than I have and, you know, I've, I'm doing my little bit and you're doing your bit. In terms of when you interview people, I mean, where, where do you find the hardest part of YouTube? What's, what, if, you, if I said to you, like, what do you really find difficult? Because, like, content at the moment is difficult. Yeah, very difficult, yes. You yeah. know, there's not a lot unless out you, Unless you want to be quite negative. Yeah, you know, well, you know, that's easy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like to be quite, quite entertaining, but it's very difficult at the moment. As you know yourself, walking around, because you walk around these size, it looks terrible. Mm. I mean, when things reopen, do you see there being a resurgence in YouTube? Do you think that's going to be more powerful? 
I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you know, since this situation, I think YouTube has become bigger. Oh yeah, definitely. I think definitely. YouTube is more the go-to place than any other platform. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I hate Facebook. Oh, you know. Tell me about it. I hate <laughs> it. I'm, I'm I'm in the middle of a 30-day ban. My my account's been put. My Facebook account's been put on like a red list. So I can't say literally nothing. <laughs> I thought when it, when it does, on the 26th of July, you can have me on Facebook, by the way, I'm going to get a three-month ban. Because I've got pictures of all the Facebook staff, who's, and I'm going to post them all and call them what they are. So this is the end of Facebook with Nick Dean then? Yeah, yeah definitely. I, I, I'm sick of it. So I, I'm, it's, like I say, my, my, it's on a, on a red thing, and they've even told me that. And I haven't said anything. You know, I, haven't, I might have a different Crazy, political it? views than them, but I haven't offended anybody or, you know, so... It's just ridiculous. I think I find the hardest part about that particular platform is the fact that you just don't know where the line is. This, you know, exactly. It, you, you can put a picture up of, of this and uh, that's fine. You put the same picture but a different context, that's not fine. And I find it really frustrating because you're trying to, you know, part of, uh, I'm sure you agree here, but part of YouTube, part of your channel is about exposure. You know, you're yeah, trying to course, get exposure yeah, yeah. on other platforms. And you think you're doing a good job, yeah. and suddenly it's like, bang, you're gone. You think, well, what, what's that? Yeah, and you know, and they can just kind of switch you off just like that, mm. which is, I, I, for those who have been banned before, which many of you probably have, if you remember when they first started banning people, you, you weren't even allowed to use Messenger. Yeah, I know, And yeah, people, were, people were messaging, and you can't reply back, and then it's like, oh, he's ignorant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can't, but now you're, you, you are allowed to, yeah. to, to use Messenger. Uh, but Facebook's just gone too far. YouTube is not as bad. Mm. It's still, but like I say, one of the problems is that they can just switch us off at any time. Yeah. And, and the, one of the big problems is that people are now used to these platforms where if you build a website, they won't move away from them because they mm. want to stay on these platforms. Mm. So they've got this monopoly. Yeah. I mean, when you're walking around, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm like you, we're out and about, we're doing our thing. I mean, when you walk around, have you ever had any situation where you think, oh, hello, this has gone pear-shaped? Many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, ever had anyone shout at you? Um, only, only one time, um, and this was uh, probably about ten months ago. There, I, I took with the bar had finished. I think we were in like eleven o'clock closures or something. Yeah. So we went out for some food. The, the girls and the bar said to me, "We'll take you for some this." I can't remember what it was, but it was some strange food. And I just thought, okay, that's a video, you know. Yeah. Um, and I was using the video for the TFI show, and it gets to this. Street, it was on Soy Bacow, the street food thing. It was by Soy Bacow Market at the front. Okay. And it's some kind of special food but from the north that like the older girls love. It was some kind of weird meat. Uh, and I'm just filming the girls and this guy tapped me on the shoulder and said, don't film me. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not. <laughs> You're not supposed to be filming. Really? <laughs> I said, mate, calm down, I'm filming my stuff. You don't film me, I'll kill you. I <laughs> It was obviously, you know, I had a, I had a few drinks yeah. in there. I'm not yeah. even filming. <laughs> it's brilliant. I mean, I was walking up Soy 7 and uh, this, this bar just on the corner and I could see a guy's shoulder poking out past the, uh, the concrete edge of the bar. And I even said on my, on my videos, I'm walking out, I said, oh, I can see there's a guy at the front there. So I just point the camera the other way so I don't catch him. And I literally got level with the bar and this woman, she was obviously had a fair too many sherbets. What are you doing? Get out of my Whoa, what's the matter with you? I'm not even filming you. Like the camera's facing this way. She went ballistic at me. You see, I, you've always got, if you're gonna do YouTube, you've got to have kind of respect. You know, mm. I mean, when I've been in a bar and I've filmed in a bar, I've always asked all the customers in the bar yeah. or told them I'm going to I'm going to come through with the camera yeah um, if you don't want to be on it just let me know I can phase you out or I can I'll, I just won't swing that way with the camera yeah and but what you'll find is that this doesn't happen often most people are fine with that mm. um, when we started doing the shows the TFI shows um, people said people are not going to come in the bar because of all the cameras it's not true the bar's packed yeah, yeah. so it's just for one hour you know it's just it's just the cameras are on for one hour um, come along and see it's it's, it's, it's fun but if you don't want to, if you don't want to be on the camera, because obviously we live, we live in uh, basically a red light district. So there's there's obviously things you can't yeah. you can't do and you can't careful, film. Yeah. Um, so you've got you've always got to have that respect to the back of your mind. I think that touches on a subject which I'm very anti, and that is those hidden cameras. Oh, I, I'm I'm very anti about that oh, because I, I really because also that like that brings grief for me. Mm. You know, when I first started doing this three years ago here in in Pattaya, people are like, oh, you're not doing, you know, you're not secretly filming. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not that kind. Yeah. So it does bring um, grief for me. And I don't like it. I don't watch them type of videos. Yes, they get way more views than me. Yeah, but yeah, I, well, yeah, I know, that's yeah. crazy. I've seen yeah. it. You know, yeah, a million views, you know, just, yeah. just showing the backs of somebody, these secret. Mm. But I, I, it's not my thing and I, I don't watch them. Um, 
Um, I'm sure the guys are nice who are doing it anyway, you know, they're okay, they're trying to make a living, whatever. But I don't agree with it, I don't, I think it's, uh, I wouldn't like to be filmed anyway, that, yeah. without my knowledge. I must admit, when I do my walks and I'm actually looking at my camera, so I've got the camera in front of me and I'm looking at my camera, talking to the camera, and someone's walking towards me and they're like, no, I'm like, and I just put my hand up, like, look, look, you're not on it, don't worry, I'm, I'm actually yeah, yeah, filming yeah. me and not the other way. This, so is, be this is because of, you know, all, all this, um, mm. um, um, what's the word for it, um, voyeurism. Yeah. Vo voyeurism, yeah. um, which doesn't do good for us. Um, we were trying to put a face on it. But I think people in the main or normal people like to see a face. Yeah, I think it's good fun. Yeah. I enjoy it. I mean, we've got a great audience and like, you know, they're brilliant. I, I, know I love it, yeah, 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 yeah. But I think we've basically got the same audience, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I think we, because I know when I came on your show, a lot of people say, I'll watch your Nick show, yeah, and I'm yeah. sure when, you know, you'll be on here, people say, oh, I've yeah, seen of you. Course, yeah, yeah, You know, so I think, yeah, we have got a very similar one, which is good, yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> in terms of, you know, where we're looking at right now, obviously we're in, in the shutdown mode and, you know, we don't know what's going on. Sandboxes seems to be, they're talking about now, it's, well, not talking, it's now 14 <laughs> days and they're not going to allow beer and all these kind of things. I mean, in your, in, in your opinion, where do you see the opening coming from? When do you see there's going to be some form of actual genuine light at the end of the tunnel? Oh, um, well, this is the, the, the $64 million question. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm told, is that we are they are aiming aiming for the first of august to open bars now people are messaging me on it <laughs> we can have a beer on it mate. we can have a beer no because i'll lose <laughs> um pe people are messaging me and and some people think it's going to be the 14th of this month <laughs> you've got no chance absolutely not because what you've got to realize is that the the, the ban on bars is a national level yeah the the governor the local governor uh, um and, and the mayor the the, the nice people actually uh, the good people that they, they understand potato what it's about they're anti tide they can't do it. It's, it's gotta be a national level. Now, if they would have, would have um, um, stopped the ban in July the 1st, say for the, for the sandbox, yeah. they would have had to do it nationwide. Yeah. And um, unfortunately at the moment, even though our cases are significantly down, I think we're averaging 40, 50 cases a day at the moment, Bangkok is still high. Mm. And now this is why the beaches were closed here, the bars are closed because they were, they were worried about an influx coming from Bangkok. So we're tied by Bangkok. And what they've said is, they're not, they've not said it for definite, they said they're aiming for the 1st of August. See, I always put my stall out as 1st of October. That's when I think... That's, that's when, that's that's when, they're, op that's when they're gonna open, to, open the borders. Mm. I hope to open the borders, so say. Please, please. Um, well, we need it. We need, yeah. we, I don't think we'll get an eye season this year, but I think we'll get some kind of eye season. I think one of the things that, that really sort of like, makes me think a lot more about this is the fact that you're going to make a video on homeless people and if you'd have gone back two years ago you'd have had a really good job trying to make a video on that because yeah. you weren't there no absolutely and, and now it's you know it's yeah. sadly it is it's everywhere. getting worse and yeah. you know the to, you're always going to get homeless everywhere you know we always get that and now the, one of the reasons why i've kind of it's a difficult subject because there is a lot of homeless out there that take a lot of drugs and, and alcoholics and whatever that doesn't mean they, they need help they don't need help but what i'm seeing now is normal people yeah you know families i've seen a we've seen we, we don't show it on the camera but we see a, there's a family um there's a family of five sitting in a derelict bar on a mat eating food i mean this is our own there's kids two kids in there mm. this is awful um so yeah i mean it's it, tough i mean I, and hopefully you know think fingers crossed things will come back and yeah you know, I, we can put an end to this suffering and misery for exactly you, you know, know thailand thailand the thai people are very proud people um and that, that's why probably it's like a little bit of a face issue but they're just proud people mm. they prefer to be working they don't want handouts mm. they want to be working you know the, the, yeah. the, the, the hard working people are thais right finish on a positive yes <laughs> what's the one thing you love most about Patea? Oh, oh, I've got him um, now. You weren't expecting that. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Right, one, on. one thing, uh, yeah. there's quite, obviously there's quite no, a few things. No, only one first top, your, your main thing. Food. Oh, wow, well, that's a good Food. shout. That is a great Because shout. there is so, so many international yeah. restaurants here. And not only that, you get the best at a cheaper price. Yeah. Steaks, for example, things like Beef Eater, Patrick's. Um, mm. This I can't even get that in the UK, and you know, okay, it's twenty quid for, 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 but even if you get that in the UK, it's going to be a hundred pound for that kind of quality. Yeah. Not just that, you've got Thai food, Mexican food, French, Belgium, everything, everything. You're Pata making me hungry. I, I'm hungry myself. Hey. Pattaya is, is like a. I mean, we we have this thing we drilled into it back home about um, you know cosmopolitan places. I don't think there's anywhere in the UK that is like this apart from Pattaya. Pattaya is a Brilliant. genuinely true cosmopolitan city. 
Well, there you go. And on the subject of food, I reckon I've got this. <laughs> Baker's Arms? No. Damn. It's near Summer Arms. It's got to be something Arms. I thought it was the Baker's Arms. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh, you've got me again here now. <laughs> right, well, you've got a memory it. like that's me. It, you see, <laughs> I thought it was the Baker's Arms. Something Arms. It's Summer Arms, yeah, definitely. Something Arms. Guys, drop the comment below. Where is it? We don't know. We can't remember. Well, listen, Nick, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so, so much, thank indeed. You. Thank Absolutely you for having me brilliant. Thank you. Guys, have a look at Nick's channel. It's called NDTVI. There is a link in the description below. Guys, jump over, check it out. Have a watch. You know, they do interviews. They have live evenings where they invite people like me. That's how, that's how quiet it is out there. They get me on there. Uh, but there's lots going on. He does a great job. Go go there. Have a look. Check it out. And uh, subscribe and watch what, uh, what both uh, Nick and Martin get up to. It really is good stuff. If you want to know about the Hacienda Bars, again, I will drop the link in the description below. And when things renew and things are back to normal, come in, say hello. Soy pothole, soy chai. Well, we won't call it pothole right now. No, not anymore. But when you come out here, it will, will be, be soy pothole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching. Please, as always, remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video. Join our Discord group. There's so many of you guys on there. It really is a great screen, and it's live, okay? It's not like a forum. You don't just write a comment and then wait for someone to reply. It's live. Whoever's on the forum at that moment in time, Ding, they're going to reply to you. So check it out. There's a link in that one. And also join our members area. More and more members are joining each and every day. And I'm out there busy talking to lots of businesses to get you guys a bit of discount when you show your digital ID card. All right, that's it from me and Nick. Thank you so much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.